was good, gente. Thank you guys once again, like always, for tuning in. As you guys can see on the thumbnail and on the title, right? J Hands. <laughs> Why does he hate SMY all of a sudden? Straight up, man. It's going to be a good one, right? And I do apologize, gente, that, I mean, this was a video that was requested a couple days ago. I want to say like two days ago. But I don't tune in to Old Boy's page. But they kept bugging. And I ended up having to go check it out myself, right? To see what was the big fuss. And as soon as I seen the video, oh, man. Let's just say, man, I'm going to have to do a live reaction. Because I'm going to miss out on a lot of things, man. That he ended up saying that were either cap or fuck. I'll get into it on the live reaction, gente. So make sure to stay tuned in. Before we get started, man, make sure to hit a like for your boy. Make sure to subscribe, hit that follow, hit that notification bell, right? Because like I said, we will do a live reaction and you're not going to want to miss out. I will say this, though. If there's any sensitive viewers, right? Because I noticed that when it comes to certain YouTubers, I get it, man. Sometimes those are the ones that you like to listen to. There's nothing wrong with that. I'll be straight up. There's nothing wrong with that. Hey, sometimes, bro, they actually say some righteous ass stuff or they give some actual exclusives that people don't really know about. And that's why they end up getting certain labels. <laughs> you guys already know. But I was requested to uh, make a video on, on Renegade Media. I guess apparently he had made a video about the whole SMY get down. Um, I actually don't know what the actual title is on it, right? But he's actually talking about how the SMYs, the Northern Riders, and how these STG groups get down on an SMY. And I'll actually say, man, that I, can, I can't I can honestly agree, you know, with what the fuck he was saying. To be real, I, I am someone that no longer participates with that stuff or nothing like that. And you may ask yourself, then why are you actually making a video on this, right? Well, people were reaching out to me to see what the hell was actually going on. Because I have made videos in the past where I actually say, man, that not everybody happens to be a dope fiend or happens to be getting down like that, man, how they make it seem. And also have talked about money moves, right? That I actually have gone down on SMY. And there is money to be made. But of course, not everybody's... Um, open to those opportunities not everybody will ever be part of those circles right especially when they happen to be dolphin told me i'll be straight up man you can't trust the dolphin g you know what i'm saying and i will play out a little clip of jay hans you know so that people kind of get the drift of what's actually going on because i know there's people that don't tune into old boy after he decided to become um i guess a youtube rat you know in some type of way bro hey if if he gets upset about that, homie, it is what it is. That's just what people are saying, homie. And I can't say that it's not true, homie. After especially some of the videos that he's put out there, I mean, he can get upset. I can honestly give two shits, to be quite real, right? But let's play out that little clip and let's hear it out. 18 members when I first went to a committee meeting out there. Stop the cap, homie. Stop the cap. Oh, shit. My bad, gente. I didn't know that I had to press pause right away. And I won't be doing this on the live, man. I'll, I'll just say that right now, right? But I had communication with the compas uh, right before I actually decided to, you know, do my own thing. I did let them know, right? Um, so when I ended up tuning in, there was questions that I had asked, you know, and that was something that was a big issue, and that's why a lot of compas decided not to back up Jay when it came down to his little dilemma with, with Snoop, you know what I'm saying? Because old boy would never actually go to committees and nothing like that. He was always someone to be to be real that, that was kind of paranoid, homie. And I know he can say whatever he wants, bro. I, I honestly don't give a shit to be real, right? But he was someone that was real paranoid, homie. To the point that he even thought your boy, man, Conejo, was going to set him up. Like, what the fuck? And you guys already know, man. Your boy don't get down like that. Straight up. Especially with someone that I used to consider a friend. <laughs> I wouldn't do some sick, some grimy shit like that. I was like, this fool. This fool got me deemed. And then he's still fucking, you know what I'm saying? Things that I'm going to set him up. <laughs> this motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? But let me press play again on the clip. And I do apologize, gente, Spencer. Huh? None of them, and I mean none of them, had a job at all whatsoever. Dusty clothes, dusty shoes, some weird backyard, not even no beer. Nobody had any money for beer. Damn, Jay wanted some, some pistol, homie, and no one wanted to give him any pistol. I mean, 
I don't recall of hearing or seeing any images or the compa saying that he was actually there because I will agree with something that he did say on the video that the compas do like to take images, right? To pretty much let people know that they, they are kicking it and they are having little greets and meets, right? At least, right? So that the other compas that are a little scattered, they can actually end up going back or, or finding, right? A certain group to actually go and have these little committees, right? Um, but like I said, there was never a anyone that actually said that old boy was actually there, bro, to be quite real. But now when it comes to their clothes and, and them being dusty and all that shit. Well, I, I will say, man, that there might be a few um, in the Tulare County, at least with the the compas that I was uh, talking to. Um, they did have a job, bro. Uh, actually, their boss even got clapped. You know what I'm saying? Because they ended up shooting up their actual business. So I don't know who he was actually referring to or who he was actually checking in, you know what I'm saying? Because it seemed that he was actually going over there with some Scante warriors. Ain't that some shit? He wasn't saying that at the beginning when they actually had his back, right? <laughs> fucking Jay, man. He fucking sure switched up. But let's let's continue hearing what he had to say, man, about the dusty-ass uh, Northern Riders. But you're talking about stealing, breaking into the house, making $120. Selling this sack, making $120, smoking half of the sack, not taking care of their kids, not doing nothing for themselves. But to them, that simple-minded mentality is what they're used to. Because all SNY inmates, all they do is hey, small-minded hustles. Small-minded hustles was the only ones that Jay actually had, right? Because, I mean, don't get me wrong, there's compas that steal. I mean, I, I, every group has them, right? It's not just the, uh, the STG groups or the SNYs. And like I said earlier, man, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be quite blunt about everything, right? Like I said, there might be some fools that steal, but at least when it came like to the fools that I was around and some of the ones that he he might be even talking about, right? I know they weren't getting down like that, homie. You know what I'm saying? But those were probably the type of moves that he was doing, right? Because like I said in other videos, man, not everybody does the time um, their time exactly the same. I did notice once I ended up going to these lower levels, I had there was more action. You know, there was actually more money to be made. And I'll throw in allegedly and all that, right? But your boy was put under investigation for a couple of things, homie. And there was money being made, right? And he does talk about a lot of things on, on the video. And I honestly thought it was it was kind of funny, right? Uh, on, on some of the hustles that he ended up saying. Actually, let me let me play those out. Let me just hear out those hustles that he's talking about. Hey, man, if I sell these drawings to make 20 bucks, I sell four drawings today, sell them both for each card for $4 each, that's 20 bucks. I do that tomorrow, I'll make 40 bucks, I could probably buy paper. If, do I need anything on the shelf? No, nah, I don't need that. I don't need nothing. I get three meals a day. I don't, I don't, I don't, need, this. I don't need extra canteen. Some dude I swear to God, bro, this dude right here, he's talking about his own experience. You know, while he was locked up, talking about... You guys got to remember, man, uh, Jay has a past. You know, Jay has a past for being a dope fiend and doing little grimy moves. He's actually talked about it on his videos. And just because now he's deciding to go a different route, you guys really think that should change? Child is, bro. Old boy's playing a little game, homie. He ran out of what to talk about, and the bag's been so good. And I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. This is no hate. This is just putting the facts out there. And, and Snoop ended up being the one that, you know, ended up catching up to that shit. And I did pay close attention now that I had to go retune into his stuff. And I did notice, bro, that he does have a lot of subscribers. I mean, he has one of the biggest platforms, and he might have not paid for him. But ever since he lost that full Casper, oh, man, you know, trying to, uh, he kind of switched up his ways. His views and everything, they went down, bro. And, you know, and even though I will say, man, he does better than a lot of platforms, including mine, right? Um, for the numbers he has... He's supposed to be pulling way, way, way more abuse. But that's that's another subject, Hente, you know what I'm saying? Let's hear, finish hearing what, what he has to say. And then if anything, we'll do a live reaction. Drop a comment if you guys don't want. This is only for the real ones, you know, because I know there's a lot of people that are like, no, leave him alone, right? But whatever, man. Let's let's get into it. Let's hear out what he has to say. Was in there, I'll grab 350 papers, slam one quick. That's before they even sell the other two, they'll slam the first one quick. Sell another one for canteen, sell another one for green dots. And then time and time again, they'll get those green dots. 
Yeah, gente, I don't mean to be putting paws all crazy. Yeah, we'll end up doing a live reaction because he, he does go on a sick one. And it seems like he does have a lot of say. You know, he does ha have a lot of say. But let's be real, gente. Um, I honestly, I have to disagree with him on a lot of things that he says, right? Because um, I, I wasn't over there doing no freaking drawings. I wasn't over there doing none of that, you know. And I had sopas, homie. And your boy wasn't no dolphin. You guys seen the images of how I paroled, homie, and how I got out. We were actually getting it, G. But there's a lot of fools, man, especially on those higher levels that are straight dolphins, carnal. You know, I'm just going to be quite honest with you guys that have been, been caught or bringing dope and all that shit, right? Nah, there's different ways to make money, carnal. Those are those are just facts, homie. But not everything's put out there, especially because of people like them. <laughs> you know what I mean? Shit, they'll try to maneuver and everything, homie. But to answer real quick, just before I end this video, why he really hates them. You guys got to remember, man. A lot of them, after they started noticing the real him, they ended up turning their back on him, G. And there's a lot of things, man, that I'm going to point out, gente, because I, I I guess I hold back, you know, of not wanting to expose certain people. But when it comes to Jay, there's a couple stories that he's put out that are full of shit, man. And just to point one out real quick, ask him about that boxer Enriquez, right? Ask him exactly what year he was with them and all that. And I guarantee you I can pull up the thing and they ain't going to match up. <laughs> those are just facts but you guys got to remember man he did get pointers from the runner um he did take a lot of advice man from a lot of people that are considered to be fucking basura and they done lied on youtube a lot homie from fucking flaco from you know just i don't even want to keep mentioning them, bro because some people will get straight on their feelings carnal. but you guys already know man he, he was around certain people that Ended up giving them some game, bro, that you can lie on YouTube and you'll get some numbers and blow up. And that's what he ended up doing, G. And if I'm lying, well, fuck, there's ways to prove it, gente. Don't even trip, man. We always got the ways to do all that. So with that being said, gente, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, man, make sure to hit a like. Make sure to subscribe, hit that follow, hit that notification bell, right? Because we will go live and it all depends on you guys if we're going to do a live reaction. I hope I didn't get some people upset, man. At the end of the day, remember, this is entertainment on YouTube. But sometimes it gets real, you know? It actually happens to get real, G. But now for the other gente that are thinking like, damn, homie, is the beef going on? Nah. You already know, gente. At the end of the day, I encourage you guys to watch whatever you guys want to watch and whatever actually entertains you at the end of the day. I think it's funny when another man ends up crying or telling people, don't tune in, you know, because they don't really want to get exposed or they just don't want the truth to be out there. But with all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, even though, man, it might have not been everybody's cup of tea. So with all that being said, once again, it's your boy Conejo. Catch you guys on the next one. We out. Oh, and I'm like, <laughs> um. <laughs>